Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And again, we want to thank everybody that's supporting us over on Patreon, where you will get unique videos that don't go up anywhere else as we watch, um, you know, the clamping down again. Oh, there's that sound. They haven't been here for a while. I know. They haven't been here for a while. Uh, they've left us alone for a while. They've just basically uh, hit us in other ways. So basically, Patreon, you could join for as little as a dollar a month and then get access to those videos that don't go up anywhere else. It breaks down to less than three cents a day, which you probably pass on the street or, or even in your couch, you know. Indeed. So this is Matthew has got to know, blue check mark, whatever that means, but Matthew knows. Look at these interesting photos of the moon. Does he just have an issue with his camera? Maybe Matthew does. But it gets me thinking, uh, again, of the time I watched the moon go totally blank. And many people speak of, watch, they're going to fake that alien invasion. Project Bluebeam, you know. It's been in front of our face the whole time. It has been in front of our face the whole time. Oh, what are these numbers? This is the population, they tell us, of Ireland. Yes, yes, some of my family came from Ireland. Did you, some of yours? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I, I know you have some from France and Sweden. Oh. Black Swede. Ah, okay. So when you look at this population, it peaks over here in 1841. 8.18 million people in Ireland in 1841. 7.95 in 1834. Then if you notice... Whoa, it drops all the way to 4 million, 4.7, 4 4.46. You can see 1956, 4.29 million. What happened? What happened? Well, in reality, it was mass migration out of the country, which was caused by the uh, potato famine. And so many of those Irish immigrants, they came to the U.S. Others went to Canada, others, other places as well. American liberty. Yes, give me your tired, you're poor, you're hungry. Yeah, this is a common theme. Going back to the Irish potato famine was a period of mass starvation in Ireland. They say about a million people died, even though it lost almost 4 million people in population. As you can see, 1844, 8.4 million 1851, 6.6 .6 million. By the way, three quarters of the crops grown in Ireland were grown to sell to the British because, again, they were under their rule. And really, as, as you guys have followed us, un <clears throat> understand the power structure is the same power structure uh, that's been in place going back to Roman times, going back to Sumerian times. They might chase change the outward base of their operations but it's the same power structure the sun never sets on the british empire the roman empire lasted f seemingly forever as as you know the holy roman empire didn't <laughs> didn't cease to exist um just like less than 200 years ago and of course of course you know all the biblical events were supposed to transpire, you know, somewhere around 30 AD or so, they say again. One quarter were actually grown for the Irish to eat. When they were starving, three quarters were heading out of the country when people were starving to death. This seems counterintuitive. Uh, understandably, this could lead to people saying, we got to get out of here. Don't care how green it is. Don't care there's no snakes. We got to get out of here. So many came to the U.S. in search of a better life. And other places, again, as well, starting in the 1840s. Now, today we see they're just packing into all the Western world. As you have more than 30,000 migrants forced to spend the night in the streets of New York due to a lack of places to sleep. Why are they coming here just to sleep out in the streets? You know, each country is a unique situation. 
Each person is a unique situation. This is something we have to realize. And you got to realize too, geopolitically, yes, there, there are strategies in play geopolitically going on as we've shared yeah you know, when you go below the rank of general nobody knows anything and even at the rank of general a lot of the generals don't understand the bigger picture and many times you'll see that orders are given that seem counterintuitive where you'll have soldiers of a lower station understanding this sounds stupid why are we doing this there's a bigger purpose underway as we see two Chinese-born spies employed by U.S. Navy with secret security clearances passed extremely sensitive military information to the Chinese Ministry of State Security officer employed by a hostile foreign state, China. So they were arrested. Jin Chao, Patrick Wei, and Wen Hing, Thomas Zhao. Again, there's a bigger purpose. It is obviously this is as we've called it and the guides have reiterated this term trojan horse couldn't be any simpler couldn't be any plainer and unfortunately or fortunately i think i think a lot of americans understand this is going on and yet it's still going on and here you have over in sweden a migrant war erupting there have been massive clashes between the indigenous populations and the migrants. The thing to recognize is the indigenous populations at some point in time were migrants. This is, this is something we have to understand. We got to get it through our head. You know, you'll get people that say, you know, I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to be a Texan. I'm proud to be this and that. But you go back past a certain time frame in history, it didn't exist. And we could say that we're proud to be an American, but then we could really, you know, bring up the case that the U.S. has been involved in more wars than any other country since its inception. Is that something we should be proud of? No, there's a brainwashing going on and indoctrination going on. They appeal to your simple ego. And just me saying that causes some people to not watch this because they're too ingrained. They can't get a new idea into their mind because there's just no room. Again, a full cup, you can't pour anything new into it. No, full cups are full. You know, you have to be able to be willing to at least empty that information out of your energy field so that you can receive new and a lot of people are really ingrained in the system and, and they need the system for various reasons to keep a certain uh, a certain way of life going and they just simply can't and I look I look at folks like that and you know it, it just is what it is they're at where they're at but we are somewhere different so we need to at least take our knowledge and our information and put it out there because you never know who you're going to touch in a positive way. If someone is meant to wake up, they're going to wake up. That information will find its way to them, provided it's out there. Absolutely. So again, m Muslim migrants attacking in a tree and festival in Stockholm. Now, you know, there's tension between I Islam and Christianity that's been created purposefully. In fact, again, 1871, it was mentioned by a 33rd degree Mason who happened to be a Confederate general, said that would be one of the main causes of World War III. And the restoration of the Jews to Israel is going to be coming about uh, in, in order to inflame the Middle East again in this time period. And it was brought about after the atrocities in World War II to the Jews. So again, why was there the atrocities to that one group? Is it possible it was all due to basically uh, create the conditions to bring about the state of Israel because it had a bigger purpose to play in the next world war? And again, a Rothschild, a Red Shield, one of the Illuminati families is the one that brought that about with the Balfour Declaration. And, you know, here you have in Spain uh, a local stepping forward to confront a migrant that was threatening a group of young girls. There, there have been countless women that have been abused horribly by these 
people coming into the country. Now, the thing to recognize is a lot of these people are coming into here because they're absolutely desperate and they've been promised things. They're always promised things. This is the thing. And we're going to look at some historical um, posters and, and things talking and promising a better life, a better life. And yeah, there's case after case of this where they come in. And this is, again, not to say that all the migrants and the immigrants are are being let out of prisons, but there are a lot that have been let out of prisons. In fact, there's reports coming out of uh, Colombia, Venezuela, that many of the prisons are empty because they've all been let out and sent over the border up here or elsewhere. This is purposeful. And again, Greg, why are you on the WEF's uh, page? Why does it say Greg Abbott on the page? Texas has bused 28,000 migrants to sanctuary cities to provide relief to our border towns. And if you just look on the surface, you say, well, thank God. Yeah, but the bigger purpose is you're spreading them out. You're helping infiltrate an army all across the country. And again, even if it's only 1% or 2% of the entirety of them coming over the border, it's still a massive army because tens of millions have come across the border in recent years. There's so many of them now you could see they're just lined up on the sidewalks. This this is midtown Manhattan, but you'll find the same thing in, in, in all the big cities across the U.S. You could look at this. This is insanity. Why would you come here to sleep on midtown Manhattan sidewalks? I, I mean, I've walked these streets. You don't want to sleep on them. You don't want to touch them. They're filthy. And, you know, New York, yeah, you you can walk by a place and it'll smell like it does in the house right now as we're cooking pizza. It'll smell like a paradise, an Italian restaurant. And then you get a whiff of something else and it's not so good. Eight million people jammed into an area very, very small. But again, this is over in Paris. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. This is so purposeful. Nostradamus saw this. Yet, Nostradamus was part of the system. That's the thing to realize, too. He was part of the system. While he was gifted and was a seer, he was also planting the seeds of these times in the minds of all of us. And, you know, we have the ability to see something different, to see something better, but the mainstream and the controllers, they're going to put what they want to happen forward. They're going to adjust things so that people play out the role and it's very efficient for them it's very effective they get something for doing it like all of these politicians you know i don't care who they are you know when they're lying when their lips are moving i mean they might have good intentions when they first come in and we can feel that baseline feeling but unfortunately they get in situations where well they have to make compromises and they have to make changes and it's due to the lifestyle that that they lead so we really need the system just totally pulled out by its roots and if we can't do that we need to look at ourselves as individuals and change our lives in such a way that we don't we don't need the system and it's no easy task and it could take generations so it's up to us to start now and start teaching the upcoming generations how to separate from the control grid Absolutely. So you see this statement from the New York City mayor, who was really singing a totally different song uh, going back a year or two ago. Eventually, this is going to come to a neighborhood year, near you. And yes, if we are in the NATO countries, that is the case. And they have been fighting with local populations constantly. It, because again, there are always opportunists. And there are people that are promised things. You do this, you will get that. It's just that simple. And, and you know, again, who is suffering? The locals are suffering, but also the migrants themselves. Because, you know, we see that this is global. And here you have two sub-Saharan African migrants that have been rescued by Libyan border guards after claiming Tunisian authorities dumped them in the Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert is one of the most inhospitable places on the planet. 
This is global. This is going on in India. This is going on all over the globe. Yes, uh, we've been focusing on the NATO countries because there is a, a big purpose there underway. Again, that Trojan horse that's going to lead to the full all-out invasion of, of the NATO countries. And this is down in South Africa. Again, always divide and conquer, divide and conquer. As you see, 250 illegal uh, immigrants. This is in India. They're, they're very, very modest structures that they're trying to survive in, bulldozed over. You know, this, this has historical precedence. In fact, th this is just nonstop. Of course, right now we're at a peak. We are at a peak. We are at the end of a cycle. So this is the toughest part when you're at the end of the cycle. So many of our, our parents came in through Ellis Island and came in from Europe and talking about people here in the U.S., but also in Canada and also in Australia and in New Zealand. You had people emigrating looking for a better situation, a better life for their kids, you know, if not for themselves. No oppressive taxes, no expensive kings, no compulsory military service, no nouts on dungeons. Well, yeah, let's hopefully not get thrown in the dungeon. As you see, look at this demonic energies. Yeah, couldn't be anything clearer to the truth. As you see, the U.S. US Ark, you know, the Ark, again, going back to those biblical stories. Immigrant industrial workers in great numbers, they toil and sweat among the smoke and steel of our plants and factories. They build our railroads. We must have them. Oh, yeah. You know, again, the U.S. was the manufacturing giant. As you see, central route through Texas, the, the railroad. The railroad employed so many people. Absolutely. People came in because the opportunity, they, they could have nonstop work, as much work as they could handle. That meant they could actually have food and clothes and, and maybe at some point shelter. As we see, this is all about immigration up the Mississippi River. Food will win the war because you always find wars connected to these mass migratory events. you got to have nonstop wars to have nonstop reasons for people to immigrate. This is how the system works. This is how the system works. Wheat is needed for the allies. Wheat waste nothing. Oh, no, no. Oh, they're going to monitor all the food. They always have. This is the thing. Look at You need a farm? They got it. Come to the Dakotas. Yes. Again, now, not to mention that there were people living there in the first place, as they were all through North and South America. Yeah, you know, those people just get booted out. Australia says, stop the boats to avoid aboriginal genocide stop great britain's illegal migration to australia so there were people that understood what was going on and again the aboriginal people understood the bigger picture and that's the big missing piece that most in the system don't get no and we're really no different than them i mean what makes us think that we're going to be able to <clears throat> to stay on this land i mean they've set it up for other people to come and 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 take over <laughs> it's just it's so common i mean it's been here since biblical times and probably before that it's just a pattern they do absolutely no slavery promises and no slavery promises and no taxation promises of a better life come on everybody come 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 and you know it did cause a lot of fights as you can see irish whiskey or or lager beer what's your preference and the ballot box is key because Often these people coming off the boats were immediately hit by people from the parties, the political parties, and told, join with us, sign up, become a Democrat, become a Republican. We're the ones that are going to take care of you. And in many cases, too, people were coming off the boats and going right back out on boats after they became a citizen to go fight wars for the, for the party and, and for the system. Speak American. Well, I didn't know there was an American language, wasn't it? English? AI, as you can see. Again, it's all sales. It's all sales. It's a sales gimmick. The shores, the land, the grass is always greener in Canada, which, by the way, is brown right now because it's burning to a crisp. And that's another part of everything that's going on. 
call of the stars to the British, men and women, men for the land, women for the home. Oh, well, now you get in trouble if you said that. Employment guaranteed and good wages. But then there were those that were like, well, you know, uh, what are we going to do with this group or that group? There was always prejudices that happened. And, you know, people had different ideas, you know, with what to do and, and how we should handle things. You know, the, the Texas border wall is not the first wall mentioned. That's something we should understand. And all the political caricatures. 200 picked healthy young men wanted. By the way, again, ouch, ouch. Ouch is always involved when it comes to war. Uh Uh-huh. So you can see, you know, Topeka, Santa Fe, land, good soil, wheat, corn, fruit. You can have the American dream. And this little, uh, little map shows the most common country of origin for legal permanent immigrants. And we do see an awful lot of that Mexican flag, do we not? Well, because Texas through California at one point, all of that was was basically Mexico. But again, how about the indigenous people? This never ends. This never ends. And as long as we allow them to manipulate us, as long as we hold any sort of grudges against another, you know, race, creed, nationality, again, it's kind of insanity when, when the national board line, borders are always just changing. General Sherman promised free slaves who joined his army 40 acres and a mule at the end of the war. The promise was granted but revoked when President Johnson ordered the land to be given back. When the land was given to blacks in the Homestead Act, it was not good farmland and they lacked the tools and supplies to farm it well. And now there's talks of making reparations now. Uh, all this time later as the pizza is ready guys and here we see just a typical family you know coming traveling thousands of miles and looking for some peace we are all immigrants absolutely we're all immigrants because earth is not really uh, the home of, of the human race but that's something that most people can't understand at this point in time even though 99.7 of you guys get it, it, it's really a sad situation. And again, wars and rumors of wars. You'll never find a time period of prolonged peace going back 6,000 years. And in fact, the wars stepped up after 9-11 because that was the entire purpose of 9-11. And when you look at all these different wars, and you might wonder, well, why do people not like us over in the Horn of Africa? 2002 to to present, Operation Enduring Freedom. It's still going on. All these wars, you know, again, there are so many people that hate the U.S. more than they hate anything because of the fact that we've been utilized to be the police force and the military force of the NWO. And now they're just going to change their base of operations to the fine dining wear. You have heard it said that it was eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anybody slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. If anybody wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. Well, you know, the reality is that most people are lashing out because they've been done wrong. Their family's been done wrong. It's just the human condition because the control system has created endless hatred. It's just creating endless feuds like the Hatfields and McCoys that will last for generations. So how do you get out of it? Certainly not by feeding it. You don't want to fuel it. When when you look to this, this is interesting, a UFO in 1665, the air battle of Stralsund. Stralsund, you know, again, we see these depictions of something going on in the air in, in so many paintings and wood carvings, this goes on since time immemorial. We see technology that's way beyond us. We think it must be an act of God. But again, they're not gods. It's pretty obvious there's technologies in play well more advanced than ours. And, and that's the big reveal as we've talked about the Tower of Babel. 
keep them divided look everybody's united they're working together they're not they're 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 not fighting each other we can't have that we got to get them to fight each other so then they won't notice that it's us controlling everything from above and you have people that will defend Israel because they're brought up Judeo-Christian and they don't see that really what this is is the system eradicating people one group of people supplanting it with another and then they'll eradicate them later so in Joshua with the Tower of, uh, not the Tower of Babel, this is uh, Jericho, they killed everyone, men and women, young and old, everyone except Rahab the harlot and the others in her house that allowed them to come in. They opened the back door. It was a Trojan horse event just like's going on right now. No different. No different. No different. And the ones that sold out their people, well, okay. They were allowed to stay in a place just outside the Israeli army camp. And later on, they were allowed to live amongst the Israelites and her descendants too. But the Israelites took the silver and the gold and the things made of bronze and iron and put them with the rest of the treasure that was kept at the Lord's house. Of course, that is, how can you reconcile that with what we just saw about an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth being something that's wrong. Don't do that anymore. Turn the other cheek. And then the Beatitudes, which was my mom's favorite. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are in the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are those that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And, you know, so on. So again, how do we reconcile these things with, hey, onward, young Christian soldiers? It, they don't reconcile. And this is why the Gnostics viewed uh, the God of the Old Testament as the demiurge, the king of the archons. And, and in fact, again, it's a good cop, bad cop scenario. But there, are, but there is truth there. And just as much as they want to pull the wool over our eyes with thinking that because a female woman, the first female woman on earth, gave an apple that she wasn't supposed to give to her hubby, and he took a bite, that's why we have all these problems? You can't pull the wool over on this guy's eyes. No, I mean, we can learn to be so humane from those who are n not even human. <laughs> we have to look to our animals to learn how to behave. So the bottom line is the answer is not getting caught up in the anger. We have to rise above it. And it's on an individual basis because they are going to throw more and more chaos at us. They're going to throw more hatred at us. And we might find people running down our street causing chaos. We have to find ways to remove ourselves from the way of harm, absolutely, but not become part of the chaos because they bank on that. They're counting on us becoming part of the problem. And thus, that's their final solution. You know, and before you get really angry at someone else understand that we don't know what other people are going through we don't know what the system has done to condition them we don't understand what their traumas are so we need to be giving as much love understanding and an encouragement as we possibly can absolutely so i just wanted to share that with you guys i hope that you guys will share this as well because again the system is counting on us having uh, those negative emotional responses when the chaos comes close to us. So let us rise above it and, of course, remove ourselves from the fray. That's the key to the ascension. Indeed. God bless and namaste. Namaste.